Okay, we ready? I'd like to call the April 20th, 2021 meeting of the Agricultural, Agricultural Commission meeting to order. And it is now 7.04. And we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. First thing on the agenda is, I don't know if anyone has got any public input since the last meeting. Okay. Next item on the agenda is new business, uh, review, discuss, and act on the agricultural work plan. Um, I don't know if everybody has finally read everything. Comfortable with it? Any feedback, any comments, anything we should discuss? Mr. Chairman, should we start um, making some action steps or, or some you know, plans to kind of move ahead with some of the items that we have on the work plan? I, uh, <clears throat> I think what, yes, I absolutely agree with that, but I was just wondering if we should just adopt the whole thing or you want to do part by part? What is the consensus of the group as far as that goes? If everybody's all set with the whole thing, I would say we could do it just in the whole, the whole thing. just yeah. adopt the whole thing. Because I mean, I, uh, I've read it, all the updates and I'm, I'm very comfortable with it. I don't know if you uh, want to poll the board right now and see if anybody, how they feel and then we can go for a vote after. If anybody else has comments. I think it was a real team effort. We went over it at two or three meetings together. We went through each line. We went through it a second time. We had a, a final revision, a revision of like formatting just to make things nice. I think we all had a hand in doing that. I think it was really convenient on Zoom when you screen shared and you know live made updates. I think I'm, I'm happy with it. I'd like to condemn every member of this board for the amount of input that everybody did, especially Leslie, because uh, she put a lot of effort in as far as typing and adding uh, additions and subtractions to our comments to it. Um, like again, I, I read it thoroughly and I'm very comfortable with it. So I don't know if someone would, would like to entertain a motion at this time. Mr. Chairman, I move to adopt the Dighton Agricultural Commission work plan. Motion made and second. Any discussion? With none, I call for a vote. Aye. 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 Passes unanimously. Have we had any more correspondence or any more issues, Stacy? <laughs> well, we had the B issue. Mm -hmm. um, not really. Right now, I deal with wildlife because it's all out and about. So mm -hmm. not so much farm stuff right now. Wait until summertime. Okay. <laughs> when the farm next door down the street stinks. <laughs> turkeys, coyotes, skunks, raccoons. <laughs> It must be rabid because it's out during the day. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. So. Um, as far as any other correspondence, I have not received any letters from anybody um, other than that gentleman back last summer. And when I contacted him, he decided to change his mind as far as starting a school of some sort down in Dighton on the river. Um, Nobody's contacted you about chickens? No, not okay. at all. All right, so he must have left it alone. There was a chicken issue? Well, here's the issue that I'm having throughout town. 
people and their chickens free range. Which nowhere does it say in any of our bylaws that that can't happen. Mm -hmm. So chickens don't know boundaries, so they go to, into the neighbor's yard. And some of the neighbors don't like that because, you know, the kids, grandkids or their kids walk in chicken poop and everything else. I says, well, I can tell them to put them in a cage. I says, but I don't have anything to back me up. We don't have, you can't free range your chickens. And I says, and I do believe the bylaw that we have about keeping your, it's not, it doesn't say animals. I think it says dogs are strained. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't even help me in that respect either. So he said he was going to write the Agricultural Commission, and if he hasn't, then he must have settled it himself. But he's not the only one that complains about it. No. No, I know this was brought to my attention I think a couple of weeks ago. Someone had said something about it. And I never received any correspondence when I got my last packet um, from the town hall. So. Well, I think with chickens, it's more so the owner's responsibility to make sure that yeah. they don't do that. However, unless we adopt some sort of regulation, which maybe if we do something right. like that, yeah. um, then we can handle it that way. But um, yeah, that's really kind of being a good neighbor. It is, right. and that's what I said to him. I says, more, you know, I can go talk to him, and then people go, I don't want you to go out there because then they'll know I complained. I says, but I can't do anything unless I go out there and talk to them. I says, you know, when people call me and say, oh, I'm moving into town, I want to have chickens, I want to have this, I want to have that. Where are you? How much land do you have? And I always end it with, there are no specific rules about roosters or this or that, but please be a good neighbor. And then everybody goes, yes, I know, I, I, I know. So, I mean, if you can approach it that way, and I always tell the neighbor, go over and talk to them. Maybe they don't realize that you're having a problem with this. I'm not talking to them. Okay, so it's more of a neighbor problem than it is a chicken problem. <laughs> so what if we, as a committee, develop some sort of pamphlet that when people come to the town and get their coop permit, whatever, that they could be given a pamphlet about being a good, um, good neighboring neighbor. chicken owner or that talks about owner. yes, yes, that would keeping. Be great. Because that would work within our, our plan as well. That would be great. And everybody has chickens now because everybody got chickens during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's something that we have in our budget to get a basic handout so of what you can have for animals and such. So when someone calls Stacy, here you go. Um, Unfortunately, Brett's not here. He knows the numbers, what we have in our budget. And I don't know, I haven't got an update on what's going to be proposed at town meeting for us for next year. It was level funded. It was level funded. It was level funded. Um, a lot of places level funded. Um, but I know it was level funded. So I don't know what we had in there. I believe we still have a surplus, so... Um, I don't know. I guess if we could get some sort of a rough draft in our next meeting. Well, you know what? I will send an email to Chris Lowry, the account, town accountant, and ask okay. him if he can send me the spreadsheet for the Agricultural Commission. He sends one out every month for most Yeah, I, I, normally, I normally get it, but I haven't got anything from anybody in the last two months, which I thought was kind of strange. Well, that's because I think when Linda left. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would explain that. So um, I will, I will t um, email him and ask him to send it over for me. Okay. He might be on. That would be great. And then we can go from there and, you know, we got the money, then we can get maybe a couple hundred, three or four hundred, whatever is the best deal for us to get printed up. We can, you know, kind of hammer it out the next meeting, get it printed up. And then when Stacy has an issue or someone asks a question, here you go, here's your handout. Mm -hmm. Maybe that can go out with the barn room. Like, right. Oh, I see you right. have a barn. Here's a Here you, you go. go. Good person. <laughs> and I can have them in the van when I do my inspections and stuff like that. Though we didn't inspect this year. So. Okay. Yeah, you can get like one. I don't have a small budget. You can get one and hang one up at town hall. Like laminate it and hang up one, and then you can have to wait till we get 
more funding than we can print out and hand out at lunch. But mm -hmm. even just the basic chicken care for people who get new groups, they don't always know after a year you have all that stuff, they can do something with it. So that's a great idea. I know there's an awful lot of chickens in Dighton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Driving around, I can't. I mean, you see them at Forest Street, you see them on Tremont Street, you see them on William Street, you see them Main Street. It's, it's I guess it's, it, it is a good thing. I guess better collecting that than something else during the pandemic. And I think the more that we can do to um, piggyback off of our work plan too. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Um, that's the other thing too. I was wondering how everyone would feel about if we do have some money in our budget, if we maybe get 10 or 15 or 20 copies of uh, agricultural plan printed. So I know it's, you know, it w would be accessible online, but it's just if someone came into town hall and asked for a hard copy, we would have it. So I don't know if that's something we can decide tonight, according to what you, you know, what you people feel, or you want to wait till we get our, see what our finance, finances actually are and make the decision at the next meeting. Well, I think um, due to COVID, we're kind of going a little bit more online, right? Right. They're not really handing out too much. Well, we're now, the town hall is now open to the public. Okay. As of today. Um, I, I'm just thinking about people like me. Yeah. Who can semi computer in the hard copy. Hard copies. Um, just so they can have it. And it would be nice for me to have one like in my van. Right. That kind of stuff. Um, so. <laughs> and um, well, I'm thinking of it. I don't know if maybe after we get this all together. The Lions is doing a cow chip without everything but just the cows and a chicken barbecue. Maybe we could have a table or something yeah. at the cow chip right. to hand out. hand out stuff. That's a good idea. I mean, there's so many things that haven't happened in the last year. It's Right. You know, as I said, we're not doing a big... There's been nothing chip, at the state house as far as, you know... Mass Ag Day at the State House. That doesn't. That didn't happen again this year. It's you know. And I don't know about how everybody else is feeling, but I'm about zoomed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's. I don't know. It's my personal feeling. It's when you get a small group, it's very efficient. But you you miss the human contact with people, and the more people you get involved, it. Um, sometimes it's hard for someone if they do have a question or if they want to say something, you know, they don't want to interrupt another person, what have you. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's a challenge. This whole year has been nothing but a challenge. I just hope the day that we can, uh, we don't have to wear these things anymore and we can shake hands again. And I think it would be, be one of the greatest days in in a long time. Um, I know it's a little off subject, but we normally kind of keep in touch with the Ag uh, Bristol Aggie on how everything's going on with the uh, upgrades, the additions, the changes, um, have, and the other thing is does anybody have any idea when they're going to start having some of their public events again? So again, that we could be somewhat involved or get our information out. Um, I'm not sure if they've decided whether or not um, they would actually hold a fall show next year um, that will be open to the public. I don't know. I can definitely right. ask and find out if, if that's a definite. I mean, I think everything right now with schools is very fluid. And we have to kind of, you know, go with the, the numbers of what's happening. Mm -hmm. So. Um, no, I'm just wondering if they're, you know, when things can get to some sort of a normalcy, if they're going to plan to do events that they used to. I guess. Oh, is I the believe. Question. 
Yeah, I believe they are. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's very frustrating, I mean, for everyone involved, especially when we're trying to promote what our group is doing in town. And we really don't have an avenue other than just, you know, correspondence through Facebook, email, what have you. Anyone else uh, of the board have any other comments they would like to make this evening? What are you planning on putting in the flyer? That's something we need to discuss, but I think, you know. I think the next meeting. Chickens, you know. What's it going to look like? Goats, because they get out. Pigs, because they get out. <laughs> Should we do one that's basically just kind of um, all around being a good farming neighbor, or do you want something? I th no, I think a good farming neighbor would probably be better. That way we can encompass all the animals because there are more people that have pot belly pigs and those kinds of things, and I'm tired mm -hmm. of chasing them. Uh, well, what do you think with chickens? Start with a couple of chickens, then you get a couple of ducks. Right, and, and then you then get you end up right. like my house, and you're crazy people. <laughs> So and then you got goats, and you got this, and yeah. you got that. Yeah, so I think so. it would be best to try to help, you know, mm -hmm. as many people as we can in the bubble. Um, that way it's not like, just your chickens read this pamphlet. It's like... Yeah, you don't want to pick on just the chicken. No, <laughs> me don't. So maybe we can brainstorm some ideas between this meeting and next meeting. Right. And kind of come up with what we would want it to kind of look like, what things we want to tackle. No, I, I think the chickens, you know, I mean, you, you got a 35,000 square foot house lot and you got 175 chickens, well, that, there's an issue there. There is an issue there. Uh, oh, rooms. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, it's just, I think it's something we should think about. And, uh, Right. Safety, maintenance, you know, safety, you don't, you don't need a, a light with your chick, you know what I mean? Like, that's not really necessary right now, but after you get chicks, you don't need a light in your outside food. But safety and maintenance, like, how to, how to properly dispose of, you know, your litter. shaving, you know, like a process. Like, what do you tell Can you put this in your garden? Like, you shouldn't, you should wait, you just, like, I would say some general things like that. Safety, maintenance. Above all, be a good neighbor. I think too more so if you have like a section on there that has kind of important phone numbers where it'd be you or maybe conservation people or even the agcom email right. um, if they have issues so stuff that you know town halls number or the health department um, some kind of important numbers that maybe they need if they needed to do some work or have questions, questions comments concerns mm -hmm. right concerns. right, yeah. right. I'm sure we can come up with something good. Yeah. It would definitely make your life a lot easier. Oh, let's hope, huh? <laughs> more complicated. Or more complicated, <laughs> one or the other. Oh, however you want to look at it. Any more comments or before I move on to the next item on the agenda or isn't there just isn't it three pigs in town? Yes, we still have a bylaw That's way back from nineteen seventy something that we do not support piggeries in this town and you only can have three pigs above the age of six months. If you have babies those don't count. Um, yes. So if you were raising up to six months, you could have more than three. Yes, as long as they were gone by six months. <laughs> would, that would be something, that, with the limitations on pig, that would be something in that flyer. 
Yes. Right. I don't have very many people that come in and say, I want to have a big piggery. No, I don't, I don't think there are either, but it's just... I think you'd be surprised. You well, you'd be surprised. And I guess because way back when they made the bylaw, there was nothing about pot belly pigs. And I'm sure people have more than three pot belly pigs around because they think they're small. They're not. I know they're not small. I, I wrestled with a 300 pound one the other day. I know they're not small. It's still, it's still a hog, so no matter how you look. Right. No, I mean, and people now, some people are starting to raise, more and more people are raising their own beef. Yep. Uh, people are raising meat birds. Yep. Again, the hogs. Um, there's really no guidelines like on some people are raising exotic poultry, you know, guinea hens, what have you for, some are using them for food, some are using them for whatever. There's Protection. Nothing. Yeah. Buggers. <laughs> they're noisy. Yes, yeah, so those are noisy. And somebody called me. I somebody down the street that either has a baby crying or it's make whatever it is. It's making a lot of noise all hours of the day. They said they have guinea hens. No, it's not. A, it is an animal. <laughs> you really want to irate the neighbors? Get a peacock. Yeah. <laughs> or a few. Or a few. So I guess we got our work cut out for us for the next meeting. So we can start thinking about things that we should be uh, bringing up and discussing and try to get something drawn out at the next meeting so we can get it, you know, approved. We can approve it that night if we do a good, you know, have enough time. And then we can uh, find out what we got f for finances and which, and then we can get something printed up. I sent him an email. He'll probably get back to me tomorrow. Okay. I have a question about the finances. Once we get that figure, do we have the number for how much it costs to print a page? You know what I mean? That way we know we need 20 work plans at 50 cents a sheet of paper. It's going to cost us out or $50. I'm not doing that. Um, do we have that number? Do we know what that is? We will at the next meeting. Okay. We'll look into BP. Hmm. And a couple other places. Yeah, I mean, you know, now that we're part of the BP district, school district, you know, we can get it done at their print shop for basically just cost of the paper and the ink. You know, it's it's very affordable. Can the town also um, use the Bristol County print shop as an option? Because yeah. I know that yes, yeah. we've used that before too. Yeah. Next order of business is the approval of minutes of the March meeting. I mean, February meeting, excuse me. There was no March meeting. No March meeting. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Next thing is set a date for our next meeting. which is going to be in May. Stacy, there's no limit on any other livestock, is there? Mm, what's in the bylaws about horses? There is nothing, really. There's nothing? No. Nope. Pigs is the only thing. Pigs is the Pigs only is thing. Pigs is the only one that's in yep. there? Yep. We had talked about doing some sort of regulations, right? Yes. Or yeah, because yeah. there is stuff like Guidelines. Right. Guidelines. Yes. Because, um... Yeah, there's nothing except for the pigs. I've got the 18th of May. Mm -hmm. Does that work for everybody? I won't be here, but that's okay. The 
because already the next week is getting way too close to Memorial Day and right. people are already will have summer on their mind. So, so May 18th at 7 p.m. It looks like we'll be back in here again. Yeah, shouldn't be a reason. This is another outbreak of COVID in town. I don't know how everybody else is. I've been, I'll be what, two weeks or three weeks completely vaccinated now, three weeks. Make, I don't know how everybody else has been making, making out, getting vaccinated. I'm also vaccinated completely. <laughs> Okay. Next order is uh, looking for a motion. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Well, thank you, everyone.